Hello, it's Helen, and hopefully you've popped on over from my previous video where I explained the day. If not, quick have a little look at that one so you know what's happening in this tic-tac-toe challenge. I've chosen the middle line where I'm going to use ink, glitter, and tiny word stickers. Well, that's the idea anyway. As you can see, I've pulled out a photo of myself and a little girl. I've actually scrapbooked this one before, but I'm doing it again as a little present for her. I've got out a stencil and used some flowers because the little girl's name is Daisy. And I thought, well, let's have some flowers in the background. And I've used a couple of different colours of Distress Ink. And with magic of videoing, I've suddenly got two there on the page. And this is probably where I made a big mistake. But I do fix it up a bit later on. I got a bit carried away with the inking. And I thought I'll add some more blue flowers. You know, some empty space. Let's fill it up. Yes, that was just a little bit too much filling, I think. I pulled out some of the Glitter Girl collection because I thought the colours would work perfectly and it's that fun, girly range and I'm actually scrapping a girly page and it would work. Yeah, that was the idea anyway. And I, I don't think it helped that I didn't really stick the pattern paper on square and that was bothering me. But it was just, I mean, the papers are lovely, don't get me wrong, but it was just too much on this page. And as you can see in a minute when I finally chop it down and add it. What I forgot to say is also, I did stitch around the white page to attach it to the glitter. I find trying to use adhesive on that glitter paper isn't really good. Anyway. I ripped off all the pattern paper and thought, no, I'm going to a simple white background. Hopefully that will help tone down the page. What about some tissue paper? Add some of that. Well, that will soften it as well, won't it? And as I'm doing this, I'm going, I really don't like those blue flowers. I really don't. It's too much. I really wish I hadn't done it. But I persevere and I pull out some of the stickers from the Glitter Girl collection and start placing them on that diagonal across with the pink flowers. And I just pick out any of the stickers that have got more the pink, tealy, bluey tones. I didn't like the wood grain on that one, so I chopped it off, added some little word stickers here, and all the way through, I'm just going, that blue, that blue, what can I do? Oh, punch some paper. So I get out a big scallop punch and punch some more white cardstock. They fit perfectly over the blue ones and then magic, they disappear. It makes me feel so much better having just that plain white. And look, it's one of the things that I always say, have a go at something. If you don't like it, it just means it's room for some embellishment. embellishing. <laughs> just keep working at it. You can fix it up. Here, I went a bit crazy with the glitter as well. I've got the glitter dots in the middle of those scallops, glittered photo corners, sparkly stickers, but I actually really like it. It's not very often I use a lot of glitter like that, but I'm very happy with it. I've titled it Mini Me Time. Ms. Daisy and I have a very special relationship at school and she's like a quirky little me. So I call it mini me and add the date. I don't we don't need a lot of journaling on this because it's going to Daisy as a little keepsake for her. So she doesn't need journaling on it. And that's it. Finished layout. I can't wait to see what you all do with this challenge. I hope you have a lot of fun. Talk to you later. Bye.